changing. New threats, new dangers. A new aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II, the world's only fifth generation multi-role fighter. With complete interoperability for coalition operations, offering performance, sustainability, reliability, bringing lethality and stealth to the battlefield. Virtually undetectable to an enemy that cannot hide. The F-35's greatest advantage is something no one ever sees, stealth. Designed into the aircraft from the start, advanced stealth reduces detection and engagement ranges of the enemy's aircraft and defenses. This multi-mission stealth aircraft is supersonic, radar evading, and has unmatched counter-air, strike, and ISR mission capabilities. Simply put, all the tools to establish absolute air supremacy. Managing a wealth of information is equally important to gathering it. Through advanced network-enabled mission systems, the F-35 can provide complete battle space awareness to commanders and troops, ensuring timely decision-making across the spectrum of military operations, ground, sea, air, and space. The Lightning II has enough instantaneous high-quality information to go it alone, but is so well connected, it will never have to. Extreme maneuverability matched with impressive acceleration allows the F-35 to defeat any threat. It achieves top speeds of Mach 1.6 with a full internal weapons payload, launches internal missiles at max speed, and releases guided bombs supersonically. The F-35 brings unparalleled performance to any theater, in any conflict, against any threat. Behind this fighter is a revolutionary support system that ensures operational readiness. Advanced sustainment concepts and systems are built directly in, keeping the aircraft always ready to fly again. The efficient and affordable support infrastructure ensures seamless supportability reducing overall maintenance, logistics, and life cycle costs. Central to readiness is the ALICE, which enables the aircraft to monitor and report its own health. A critical advantage when a mission lies in the balance. This technology, this air superiority, it's here now. Aircraft are rolling off the state-of-the-art assembly line. 31 production model F-35s are currently in assembly. Unprecedented engineering and manufacturing technologies facilitate precise assembly, 
concurrent production of all three variants and production nearing full rate, delivering one aircraft a day. In the air, all three variants are proving performance in flight test. With successful Stovall operations, delivery of two aircraft to the U.S. Air Force, and the beginning of carrier variant testing, the F-35 is reaching its objectives. Unparalleled intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, the F-35 is the only fifth-generation multi-role fighter available on the international market today. A lethal, survivable, supportable, and affordable air system. The future is now. The F-35 HMD, the most advanced helmet-mounted display in the world, designed for the fifth-generation F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. When fully integrated with aircraft sensors and systems, the F-35 HMD provides the pilot with unparalleled situational awareness, turning night into day. The F-35 HMD provides visor-projected video and symbology for the virtual HUD, digital night vision, distributed aperture system, queuing of high off-bore sight sensors and weapons, target designation, defensive systems, encrypted data link, and growth for advanced HMD capability. A U.S. Marine Corps recon team near the forward edge of the battle area observes enemy vehicles on the move toward a friendly encampment. Attempts to stop the vehicles fail, and they call for an airstrike. Juliet Bravo, this is Recon Alpha Mike requesting immediate air support. Over. Recon Alpha Mike, this is Juliet Bravo. Go ahead with your request. Juliet Bravo, we have enemy vehicles on the move toward Whiskey Sierra in kill box 197. Seven armed vehicles in two groups. Over. Recon Alpha Mike, we are launching an F-35B to your sector. Relay target coordinates over secure link, channel 14. Maintain MCON. The F-35B proceeds to the last known target location, relayed via secure data link to the pilot's head down display, but the data is now stale. Maintaining MCON, the pilot utilizes the F-35 DAS and HMD Diginite sensors to locate the enemy vehicles. The pilot detects movement at 10 o'clock via advanced AMTI processing and verifies the vehicles are hostile with Diginite. The pilot then selects his FLIR to zoom in and verify the contacts are enemy combatants. The FLIR automatically locks on the HMD established coordinates. Four vehicles are prioritized, ID validated, weapons lock-on established, four SDBs released. Three more hostile vehicles are verified and targeted with the HMD and FLIR. Three more enemy vehicles destroyed. The pilot orbits the target area verifies with the recon team via data link and visually with Diginite that all hostiles are destroyed. Then turns right to return to home plate. With the aid of the F-35 HMD, the pilot can view the ground directly beneath the aircraft through the cockpit floor during his vertical descent to a safe landing. The F-35 HMD and the onboard DAS provide a capability unmatched by any other system, turning night into day. The F-35 HMD provides unparalleled situational awareness in the most demanding operational environments. The F-35 HMD system performance is unsurpassed. The high accuracy and low latency of the F-35 HMD allow it to serve as the virtual HUD of the aircraft.
Hi, I'm John Beasley. I'm the chief test pilot on the F-35 Lightning II, the Joint Strike Fighter. I flew first flight on the airplane, and since then I've flown a little over 50 flights in the F-35 variant. In the early days of Stovall flying, there was the Harrier, but it was very work intensive for the pilot. Since then, one of our contract requirements has been to make this Stovall flying to be very easy for the pilot. The technology advancements in computers, basically the fly-by-wire nature of the airplane, and the advanced control of the engine and the integration of the two is really what's made this possible. In the F-35, the way the pilot controls his height is with his right hand, his stick, the same way at zero knots as he does at 500 knots. Push forward, you go down, pull back, you go up. So it's all consistent learning. But the important thing is the pilot, if he just lets go of the stick, the airplane will stay where it is. The Harrier doesn't do that. It requires constant attention to stay there. As you look at the video of Graham Tomlinson coming in to do the first vertical landing, you notice what looks almost like great ease, and in fact, that's what Graham said it was, was very easy. We'd worked very hard to make that happen. Conventional airplanes, when you come in, there'd be a great deal of wondering about positioning and those type of things and controlling the hover very precisely. Well, with the F-35, because of the integrated flight propulsion system, it, it was very easy. The system's doing most of the hard work. The pilot's simply making a decision where he wants to go. You know, one of the truly incredible things about our Stovall airplane is that it's first actually a combat aircraft. It has the full capability, internal weapons, stealthy characteristics, advanced electronic systems, sensor fusion, all of those capabilities that are so essential to combat and being successful in combat in the 21st century. Sometimes in the past, people have had to compromise on those capabilities to have the basing option that short takeoff and vertical landing brings in heritage stolen systems. We compromise none of those. We have an airplane that's a fully maneuverable fighter aircraft, equivalent to any that's out there, and also a supersonic airplane that can fly any mission that's required with all of the sensors and all of the data link and all the communications that are becoming the future of aviation. In addition to that, the airplane can come in and simply come to a stop and do a vertical landing at the right place. I think the guys on the ground are going to absolutely love this airplane because they're going to know it's there and it can get there quickly to help them. Northrop Grumman F-35 Electro-Optical Distributed Aperture System, cornerstone of fifth generation fighter capability. Provides missile detection and tracking, launch point detection, situational awareness IRST and queuing, weapon support, and day-night navigation. The revolutionary AMAAQ-37 Electro-Optical Distributed Aperture System, or DAS, is composed of six infrared sensors situated around the aircraft. The advanced IR sensors provide long-range detections and near 20-20 visual acuity day or night. The result is complete spherical sensor coverage around the aircraft. The six IR sensors have extremely fast update rates and are digitally fused to eliminate seams and to perform multiple functions in every direction at all times. Surface-to-air missiles can no longer hide. The DAS instantaneously detects tactical SAM and man pad launches, predicts the missile's target, alerts the pilot, and allows time for a choice of countermeasures. With DAS, a counterattack is possible well before the shooter can hide. AAA, artillery, and tactical ballistic missiles can also be detected. Integrating this into the mission computer will enable the EOS and AESA radar to image and ID the target, allowing an immediate counterattack to a hostile act. Situational awareness IRST is also a key function of DAS. DAS detects and tracks approaching aircraft from any angle, reducing the potential for mid-air collisions. With traditional radar warning gear, pilots can still be surprised during non-radar or visual intercepts. The DAS detects and tracks threats 360 degrees around the aircraft, virtually eliminating surprises. With DAS and high off boresight weapons, the F-35 can actually have a kinematic advantage over a pursuing aircraft. The enemy can either break off the attack, try to defeat the inbound missile, or suffer the consequences.
Daz maintains continuous track and identity of wingmen and other in-range aircraft. During close-in engagements, automatic identification systems are practically useless, and identities of similar-looking aircraft are easily confused. DAS sensors allow continuous tracking and ID correlation, even in dynamic air combat maneuvering. With DAS, aircraft IDs are maintained despite similar aircraft appearance or loss of visual contact by a pilot. In the age of high off boresight weaponry and highly maneuverable aircraft, hesitation means defeat, and turning at the murder can lead to disaster. With deaths, instead of engaging in a classic dogfight, the F-35 has the option to simply exit the fight and let its missiles do the turning. For navigation functions, DAS imagery replaces bulky night vision goggles or NVGs and provides better overall visual acuity. DAS video imagery is projected directly onto the pilot's helmet visor is independent of cockpit lighting and can protect pilots against blinding laser devices. Side-by-side -side images of day and night carrier approaches show that even waves are visible with the DAS. Landings in foggy and dusty conditions are also possible with DAS. DAS imagery is unaffected by moon illumination and urban lighting. Nighttime imagery of the city has clarity unimaginable using NVGs. And when integrated into the mission computer, DAS can provide optical cues of multiple moving targets in every direction simultaneously. DAS provides day and night vision spherically around the aircraft. A pilot may have good eyes, but he can't see through the floor unless he has DAS. The revolutionary multifunction distributed aperture system.